plenty of power in hand, obviously. The handle is nice and comfortable. It is a bit slick though. I am getting some movement, which I expected, because the handle scales are quite smooth. So I think I'm going to have to take them down a bit. This is weak grip, forward. This can't really even slow the blade down at all. Just the wrist. I had a bit of concerns about the handle. I was thinking that maybe it was a bit too rectangular, but no such issues. It's very comfortable in hand. It's very stable. There's no rotation. Kali has a very nice balance on the handle in that aspect because it's very easy to make the handle too boxy. And then even though it won't rotate at all, it's kind of uncomfortable. But this has a very nice balance and there's just a hint of an index finger scallop in here to lock it in. Again, the only issue I have is this is a bit smooth and I will take the surface finish of this down. And then again, this is all wrist, just working very lightly. This is a piece that will cut off. This is 2x2. Two two. So again, just demolishes it. This is spruce. Just light wrist flicks. So, penetration, excellent. Uh, accuracy and precision is very nice again because the handle indexes very strongly. So you sort of know where the blade is. Penetration is very high, so the cut is smooth, and there's very little felt in hand. Very comfortable, and the blade is also very fluid in the wood, which you would expect as the steel stock is rather significant. that brought a little bit of elbow into it and you can see the wood just starting to splinter under the impacts. There's a lot of mass here and a lot of length. Okay, you can see now I have a very well used piece of uh, spruce lumber that was taken down from a demo on a project. I want to watch for nails. They're all over the place. So go through it about right here. So again, uh, on a piece of baked spruce, which will be much harder um, than a piece that's freshly bought, anywhere between 5 and 10 hits is respectable for a knife uh, of this size. Of course, if the wood is very hard, if it's knotty, it can go above uh, 10. So, again, I'm going to start off relatively light. I'll move back a little bit on the blade.
That's good for the first cut. So, cutting through some knots. Not bad performance. Ramp it up a little bit more. This is still mainly wrist. Another knot. Oh, that's just a knot. Still cutting through knots. Solid performance, and the blade is very fluid. Row of nails there I'll try to avoid. And again, relatively clean lines. So just from a bit of memory, looking at the two of them, this appears to be in a very similar class as uh, Jared's survival sword in terms of raw power, which you would expect, because they have a very similar mass and very similar heft. Kali has packed more mass in a shorter blade with thicker stock. So this should be a bit more fluid and thicker wood, but of course it lacks the length and the speed for lighter brush cutting. Uh, the edge is completely unaffected by the wood, which I would expect. I've used this before from Kali. It's the same steel that's on the medium size axe. This is Calmax, which is basically like a shock steel modified for air hardening. So it has nice obtainable hardness above 60 Rockwell, excellent toughness, uh, low to moderate wear resistance, but very high grindability. So it's very easy to sharpen, will resist damage uh, from woodworking, and it will resist taking a patina because of the chromium content, but it will resist oxidization uh, for the same reason. So you leave this and an L6-1095-5160 blade out, and they'll be spotting and turning orange when this one will be relatively uh, unaffected. Now there are some areas up through the tip that have taken a slight bit of impaction and that's because you'll notice a lot of this wood is it's reclaimed so it is dirty it's got some uh, rocks and light stuff in the surface of it so that's not unusual to have that happen but very favorable at first impressions and again Bruce did an outstanding job on the case, first leather case that he made, and hopefully it will be first of many that he will do because I'd love to have most of my knives coming in in such cases.